Hey guys, welcome back. So I know in my last video or maybe the video before that, I said that I wasn't going to haul anymore, but um... The lie detective determined that was a lie. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> I failed myself. <laughs> no, but um, in all seriousness, I, there was an Ulta that just opened up in the Upper East Side in New York by me where I live and they were offering 20% off like opening weekend or as like a sneak peek to the opening weekend and then the Sephora VIB, VIB sale hit and I didn't think I wanted anything but I kept on watching other people's sale recommendations which is the worst thing to do because I'm so easily con like convinced. Um, and also this time of year, I always go a little ham because my birthday is in December and I always use the excuse of treating myself, which is very bad, but I feel like I've gotten some amazing things and this, I want to say this is going to be my last haul of 2017. It has to be because your girl is broke. <laughs> All right, I am going to start off with the Sephora VIB sale. The first thing that I um, picked up were these uh, trios of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip. These three colors are absolutely amazing. I am wearing a combination of like all of them at this point, but they are the shades Bittersweet, Hudson, and Days. Next I picked up the Natasha Denona um, Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. This is the um, Joya Palette. I wasn't going to pick this one up, but actually, one of you guys left a comment in my last, in my Sephora recommendations video um, saying that I should get this and I actually saw Karen from I Love Seta E do a makeup look with it. My makeup was partially inspired by hers, but I am wearing it now. I love these. I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows point blank period. They're some of my favorite out on the market. So yeah, I also picked up this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Set. This has seven um, matte liquid lipsticks. Um, one of them is new and it is called Madrid. I like the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Uh, they were kind of, they were one of the first that I've ever used. They kind of got lost in the sauce for me because so many brands are coming out with a liquid lip, but the Everlasting Liquid Lip formulas are some of the best in the, on the market. And these are just like different shades of nudes, pinks, and like very fall autumnal shades. I like the little minis because... Truth be told, I never go through fully a liquid lipstick. So the minis are perfect. You get to throw them in your makeup bag, throw them in your purse. They don't take up a lot of space. Also from Kat Von D, I picked up the Saint and Sinner palette. I did not think I wanted this, but I saw Stephanie Nicole's video and she's a Kat Von D eyeshadow fan. I didn't pick up, um, what is that, that Mi Vida Loca palette from way back when, but anytime people talk about like their holy grail eyeshadow palettes, that one comes up. So I didn't want to miss the chance to own something from Kat. The only but this one was pretty dope. It comes in this church-like package and it has a bunch of really fun, bold colors. So there are mattes, there are shimmer shades. I can't wait to try a look with this green shade called Exodus. Um, overall, it's fun. I'm excited to pick it up. It's a Speaking little... of fun out there eyeshadow palettes, I picked up these um, Huda Beauty mini ones. Now, to be completely transparent, I did not think that these palettes were as small as they are. I only saw them online, and when I picked them up at Sephora, I was kind of like, what? <laughs> and this is $27. But I like how portable they are. So I love a mini. I'm not going to lie. I love a mini. This is the Electric Obsessions, and I primarily picked this up because I um, bought the Galaxy palette from Fenty Beauty, and I realized I don't have any colorful eyeshadows that would really allow me to go crazy, so I picked this one up because it is a much smaller version of the Sephora like Editorial Pro palette. And then, of course, I love a warm matte <laughs> eyeshadow palette. This is this just speaks to me on so many levels that I needed to have this. So. I also use the Sephora VIB sale as a time to stock up on some of like my favorite all-time favorite products. So this is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and this and this is the Beauty Blender Cleaner. I absolutely adore this. Speaking I of using this time to use your discount, I picked up the 
Pat McGrath Labs palette. This one is the Mothership uh, palette, I believe. Um, if you watched my recommendations video, you would know that I actually recommended her other, the Starship. I don't even know what it's called, but this one is absolutely stunning. Um, I love the duochrome shades that there are in here. There are a bunch of shimmers. There's the matte black. Um, I am impressed with Pat McGrath's makeup line. It's just super freaking pricey, so this was the time that I would pick them up. I also picked up the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I didn't want this originally, but more and more people kept on talking about it, and I love, love the highlighters from um, ABH's Glow Kits. Sun Dipped is my absolute favorite highlighting palette. I think it's the only permanent one, um, and so I think... A, I got this more as like a collector's item, but also, hello. I can use these on my eyes, I can use them on my face. I just had to get it. If anything, I can return it if I don't like it. <laughs> so that was everything that I got at Sephora during the VIB sale on both weekends. And as I mentioned, there is an Ulta that just opened up in Manhattan. So of course I had to check it out. Um, the first thing that I picked up was the Real Techniques Miracle Face and Body Sponge. This is massive. And I picked this up because I follow Symphony Soto and she uses this to do her makeup and A, I feel like her foundation looks flawless and B, she's done in no time. <laughs> but I also picked this up because during the summer I like to do like body bronzing and usually I just apply with my hands but then I have to go wash my hands after. So I feel like this would be something quick and easy that I can use to apply like any body makeup. Thank you, car. And the like. Oh my god. Also from Real Techniques, I picked up this 12 uh, Miracle Sponge Set. Now, this is a $72 value, but it retails for $49. And I think that is a steal when you factor in the price of just one sponge and how often you're supposed to be replacing them. I'm not a germaphobe, I don't think, but I like to replace my sponges often because I break out easily and I don't want anything that will like harbor bacteria. So I love these sponges. I think they're a good dupe for the beauty blender. They're much cheaper, but for $49 you get 12. That's basically a, a Real technique sponge, like one per month. Um, I should be set, I should be set. <laughs> okay, the last sponge that I picked up, I bought this before I bought the Real technique sponges, but this is the Morphe sponge. Morphe is now being sold at Ulta, which I find to be interesting, um, but it's just got a funky design and in, instead of it being like curved on one end, it has like a sharp end, so this is meant to like highlight and contour, so if you want to like carve out the cheekbone situation, um, I just wanted to give this a go. I believe Jaclyn Hill loves this. <laughs> we shall see if I like it too. I also picked up the NYX ultimate shadow palette. This is the Brights Lumino. Um, and if you've been eyeing the Sephora Pro palette um, and you don't want to spend the money or and you don't like the size of the Huda Beauty one that I just showed, you can absolutely pick these up. I think they're a good alternative if you are on a budget. Um, I picked, I picked, I picked, I picked. I also bought the Gigi Hadid X Maybelline uh, lip set. This is the Austin set, which is this beautiful bright red. It's got like a hint of orange. I love a good orangey red. This is a random one that I've already unpackaged, but this is the e.l.f. liquid liner. I bought this because Katie from Luster Lux used it in her all e.l.f. tutorial or all e.l.f. video, and I liked how fine the tip was. I love liquid liner. Liquid liner is my absolute favorite for my top lashes. Um, but I need a very fine brush, and this is super, super fine. And last but not least, and the real reason why I went to Ulta, is to get this. This is the infamous MAC Holiday Lipstick Set. Um, this sold out everywhere, and by everywhere, I mean everywhere. <laughs> so literally, the only place that I could get it in stock was the Ulta that just opened up. So I initially wanted this because I thought it would be cute to kind of pull it apart and create nice little stocking stuffers for all of my friends. But then I saw it in person and if any of my friends are watching this, I'm so sorry, but you're not gonna get any of it. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's such a collector's item and being a makeup collector, 
I, I feel like I just had to have it. And there are so many of my favorite shades in here. Um, it's just, and they're mini MAC lipsticks. How cute. I, and that is my collective haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know I said that in my last video that, you know, I wasn't going to haul anymore. Hopefully this is it. This has to be it because your girl can't keep spending money like this. Um, but who knows, my 30th birthday is coming up and I'm a big fan of treating yourself. So yeah, do you. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!